I can't decide which one is better. All of them are just great. Maybe anti-G3? Hmm. Or not. Actually, Tascam is much more compact. But not so good for windy weather. Gosh, so hard to decide. Hi guys, today, as you already guessed, I'll be talking about the microphones that I think are the best combo if you are creating video content similar to what I create. I mean, cinematic stories, vlogs, corporate videos, interviews, feature films, any kind of video that you may share on YouTube. And my enemies for today are two directional microphones, cheap and more expensive one from Rode, and apart from them, a wired lavalier microphone from Tascam. I will be also showing you several audio samples with all three microphones, giving you a choice to decide which one sounds the best, because I'm I'm pretty sure you're watching this video right now mainly because you want to hear how they sound. And to make your life easier at any point in time, you may go to the description area of this video and find a timestamp with the chapter you're interested in the most. Alright, let's start! First of all, I wanted to emphasize that these microphones are not new models at all, and I was not paid by any of these brands. And if you need a professional review, you may find thousands of videos on the internet. I just want to share with you what I use, in which scenarios, and how much I'm satisfied with my equipment. And I'll start with one of my favorite microphones, which is Rode Video Mic Me. And I'll plug it right now into my Sony A7 III camera, and you'll hear how it sounds. Ok, the mic is already attached to my camera, I hope you hear me well. And right away, an important thing to know, this Video Mic Me microphone is actually dedicated to smartphones. However, it's like 99% equivalent of Rode Video Micro, which is dedicated to DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. But to not purchase it and make my smartphone microphone work with my Sony camera, I had to additionally buy a shock mount worth 11 American dollars and small cable worth 13 dollars to be able to plug it into a regular TRS microphone socket. Anyway, whatever sound as you've seen on the internet about Rode Video Mic Me applies also to Rode Video Micro. Technically, these are the same microphones, they just have different plugs. That's it. At least I haven't seen any parameters difference on the official Rode webpage. Why then do I have a mobile version of this microphone? Well, actually, I got it for free from Rode as a present for participating in my Rode Reel short film competition back in 2016. And by the way, if you want to watch my entry for this film contest, I will leave a link in the description. It's about politics, pretty nice, three minutes long short. Hope you'll enjoy it. So, I've ignored this microphone for about four years because I own much better and more expensive ones. But in the beginning of 2020, I started to appreciate my free time a little bit more, and instead of wasting it on synchronization of audio from my sound recorder and camera, I decided to use on-camera microphone, which doesn't require additional power supply and which I can plug right into my camera. So to not invest in a new microphone, I started to use this technically smartphone mic. And as you can hear, it works pretty cool, right? If you would like to purchase this microphone right now on Amazon or a similar web store, it will cost you around 40 to 60 American dollars, the same amount you would spend on Rode Video Micro. So for the relatively low price, you are getting a good microphone which is doing a really great job. Moreover, whenever you don't want to take your camera with you, for example when you're jogging, but you would like to shoot some short video while you're running, you may always take this small 40 gram microphone and simply plug it into your phone. Actually. It was designed for smartphones. <laughs> Multi-platform microphone? Yes, it is. But the most important, I am very satisfied with the audio quality and pretty low noise level. So together with its windshield, which comes together with the microphone, I'm gonna record sound outside without any problems, even during the windy weather. And if I compare sound quality indoors and outdoors, I would rather say that outdoors it performs a little bit better, because there is no such echo as I have in my apartment. And apart from that, I can hear that the background noise is being cut more efficiently. But that probably relates to any directional microphone and the way they're picking the noise. Anyway, all in all, if you need a relatively cheap microphone, but you don't want to invest much, this is an absolute deal maker. Definitely, with a hand on my heart, I may suggest having one. Second microphone that you can hear now is Rode NTG3. It's also a pretty old microphone, it has been produced since 2008, however, the quality of sound and this heavy metal construction makes this microphone undestroyable. I just love it. Weird thing that I know it is, I purchased it back in 2014 for about 600 bucks, but right now I'm not able to find it cheaper than that. 
despite the fact that Rode introduced several new microphones after this one, so it looks like this microphone was not only a great purchase, but also an investment. And from what I can hear while editing videos and also looking into the specifications, this microphone captures much more bass frequencies. While my Rode Video Mic Me microphone that I was talking about a couple of minutes ago captures the frequencies starting from 100 Hz, Rode NTG3 microphone captures low frequencies starting from 40 Hz. That is why it gives a more natural and complete sound range. On the other hand, while editing YouTube videos, I'm cutting a lot of low frequencies. As for online videos, it's better to have crisper rather than boomy sound. Moreover, people in their headphones will not hear these low-range frequencies anyway, so it's better to get rid of them. Apart from that, NTG3 microphone has a pretty low noise level, which works perfectly for me when I record myself outside or at home. Thus, for stationary recordings, I use mostly this microphone. Then I can simply put it into a perfect place, connect it to an external recorder, which has an XLR plug and where I can monitor my sound levels. And here we go! Important thing that the construction and technology used in this microphone helps pretty efficiently to cut the background noise. That is why in many of my short films, when I was shooting in the street or near the road, me and my crew were using this microphone. And it did a really great job, with almost no sound tweaking in post-production. I'll put a few links to my short films in the description, so you'll have a better idea what this microphone is capable of. My conclusion, if you have a bigger budget and you position yourself as a semi-professional or professional video creator and you need to register your sound for film, television or anything where high-resolution broadcast audio is required, you might definitely consider this microphone. Guys, if you are still watching this video and you like what I'm doing, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to be up to date with my new content. You will not regret it. Thank you. Third microphone I wanted to briefly talk about is Tascam DR10L. You can actually hear it right now. This is an amazing lavalier microphone which has its own recording device powered with just one tiny AAA battery. This is an amazing solution whenever you are located pretty far from your camera or you are shooting a talent but you don't have an assistant who would hold the microphone for you because you're holding the camera. A few months ago I was shooting a corporate video for a big company and there were many scenes with employees talking about their jobs and I cannot imagine how I would make it without a lavalier microphone because I worked alone, I knew this microphone records sound in the best quality with a backup track and I didn't have to worry about audio while focusing on cinematography. This microphone is an absolute lifesaver and perfect solution for weddings, corporate videos, interviews. I even make vlogs sometimes, like now, whenever I need more freedom with my camera. No-brainer, absolute beast, and it sounds, as you can hear, just amazing, even outside. The price of this microphone is very fair. It costs around $200 and I should say it is worth every cent of it. I don't think you'll get a mic with a similar set of features, including dual record and limiter, for such price from competitors. You don't believe me? Try to find one. So guys, these are my three favorite microphones that I own. I don't have just one favorite because all of them do a great job and each of them I appreciate for something else. For example, video mic me microphone. I just love it because it's plug and play and it consumes less of my time to work with sound in post-production as audio is being recorded directly into my camera. NTG3 has an amazing sound quality and is suitable for any controlled environment where I need audio to be recorded in the best possible quality. What about Tascam DR10L? It's a reliable microphone which helps me a lot in the situations when I want to focus on cinematography or something else without bothering about sound quality as I know it's just exceptional. So. These three microphones so far for me are just one of the best microphones I've ever had. Apart from them, I have a couple more microphones, but these ones I use the most. And to be honest, I don't think I'll purchase anything new in the near future as I don't think I'll need anything even better at least for now. But if you have a different opinion or you just want to ask me something particular about these microphones, feel free to leave your comments here below this video. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Okay, guys, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Watch some other videos from me with tips for video content creators and